Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Alhamdulillah. Wa salatu wa salam ala Rasulillah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. This is your brother Gabriel al-Rumani recording for Daily Reminder. Qal al-Sufyan al-Thawri rahimahullah Ma aalajtu shay'in ashad alayya min niyyati. That Sufyan al-Thawri, may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala have mercy on him, said I did not find upon myself, I did not encounter, I did not experience anything harder upon myself than my niyyah, my intention. Brothers and sisters, how many of us don't even check our intentions? Brothers and sisters, how many of us try to do things for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala? And a'udhu billah, we might be going on the day of judgment and we won't find these, these deeds. And we say, where are they? Where are they? And they're nowhere to be found. Why? Because they were done for something other than Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Renewing your intention, brothers and sisters, is not something easy. Renewing your intention is something very, very difficult. How many people in the field of da'wah, going out, sitting in front of the camera, giving lectures, not checking the intention? SubhanAllah, one of the scholars used to say, check your intentions, ask yourself over and over again, who am I doing this for? Is this for Allah? Who am I doing this for? Is this for Allah? And you might answer, your nafs will tell you, yes, it's for Allah, brother, don't worry. Yes, it's for Allah, sister, don't worry. But then you ask yourself again, really, is it for Allah? Who am I doing this for? Is this really for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala? Ask yourself over and over and over again till you from the inside are honest with yourself that maybe it's not for the sake of Allah. And you renew your intention and you change it and you ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to change your niyyah. Allahumma aslih niyyatna. Oh Allah, change our niyyah. Oh Allah, perfect and make our niyyah to be sincerely for your sake, oh Allah. However, I want to change it and tell you that a lot of people quit sometimes and say, you know what, brother, sister, I'm not too good. I don't think I'm doing this for the sake of Allah. You know, my intention is not there. And they stop. They don't work for Islam. They don't work for Allah. They don't work for this da'wah. Shaitan has fooled them. Shaitan has made them stop. He's playing with them, with their intention. This is not what you have to do, that you stop. You know, oh brother, I'm not good. You know, oh, some kind of piety. And you know, I, I, I need to stop. No. You need to fight. It is a war. This is Sufyan al-Thawri. He is a mountain of hadith. He is a mountain of a scholar of Islam. And he finds it hard upon himself to deal with his niyyah. Umar al-Khattab, Umar al-Khattab radiallahu anhu, he used to fight with himself, with his nafs. And he used to say, he used to put himself down. He used to humble himself. And he used to say, I want to show the nafs of Umar. Who is Umar? I want to show who I really am. Because he knew his real value. He knew his real worth. And they used to do these kind of things to put them down. And that's why Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has given us through his messenger Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa this beautiful thing. Whoever humbles himself for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, whoever humiliates himself for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will raise him. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will lift him up. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will raise his worth. So try to always practice something. Wallahi brothers and sisters, try to practice something that will humble you. Try to remember your sins that will humble you. Try to remember the things that you have done that will humble you and put you in check and show you who you really are. So that the people, when they look at you and they praise you, you know that that riya, that show off will not enter your heart because you know your real worth. When you stand in front of a camera, there used to be, subhanAllah, one of our teachers used to say something amazing. He used to say, when you stand in front of the people or a camera or whatever, you look at your crowd, you should be, if your niyyah is sincerely for the sake of Allah, you should be able to give the same type of lecture with the same enthusiasm to a bunch of trees as you do to a thousand or two thousand or three thousand people in front of the YouTube viewers or so on and so forth. The same way, the same enthusiasm, the same strength if you are doing it for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So again, remember, niya is something very hard that we struggle with. All the scholars, previous scholars struggle with it. The Sahabas struggle with it. And as Prophet Muhammad SAW told us, إِنَّمَا الْأَعْمَالُ بِالنِّيَاتِ That indeed each action indeed is according to its intention. So we have to renew this niyyah, we have to fight with this niyyah. Second point, you don't stop your da'wah, you don't stop your work, you fight, you renew, you fight against shaitan, you fight against your nafs, and you never ever ever stop. And third, do things that will humble you, do things that will remind you of who you really are, your real worth, and put you down, and this will make you more humble. I, I leave you with a story, a brother, an amazing brother, a doctor, someone who is successful in this dunya, 
we used to some, sometimes catch him, people used to catch him cleaning the toilets in the masjid, hiding. And when they asked him, why do you do that? He says, SubhanAllah, it humbles me. It humbles me. It makes me know who I really am. Dear brothers and sisters, remember your niyyah. Check it. Who are you really doing it for? Is it for Allah? Is it really for Allah?